So even when it is snowy and crummy outside, still find ways to get outside. And one of those ways is Stabbing you in the Help, help, help. Okay. Here in Boise, we have been getting snow like crazy for the past, mm, it's been about over a week now. It stopped for a few days and it started up again now, as you can see, times like this, when it is snowing, sometimes it can get hard or discouraging to figure out things to do outside with the kiddo. We like to get outside when we can. So here's a few ideas of things that you could be doing even when it's snowy outside. Even when it is snowy and crummy outside, still find ways to get outside. And one of those ways is the sledding. We've been doing that the past couple of days and it's worked out really well. It's nice that we have such a large yard that we can do that in. Um, but you can take the sleds to parks or just down your street. We live on a cul-de-sac, so we're able to go up and down our street as well. But there's plenty of options to get out there and enjoy um, even when it's snowy and we just go out there for about 30 minutes. That seems to be enough for both mom and dad and for Finley. And there's always the question of how do you keep your kids warm when it's really cold and snowy outside? Um, and I'll just show you kind of what we've been putting on our 16 month old the, for the past week when we've been going out. I have all of our stuff now drying by the fire um, since we were outside playing on the sled earlier. Um, so she usually has some sort of fleecy base layer on underneath and then socks. And we start with bibs. So these are waterproof snow bibs. And then this is again, just a waterproof um, ski jacket. And then we usually do the typical gloves. These are a bigger size, which is kind of nice. We're able to zip them up over her jacket all the way. And we got these at Costco for a really reasonable price, um, but they'll fit her for a couple of years. Same with these bibs. I got these used on Patagonia's um, Warnwear site. So they were used, which is a great way to save money and also recycle clothing. And then these little booties, they're little waterproof um, insulated boots. And I got those at the used kids store. Little beanie that was just given by one of her aunties. And that usually keeps us pretty warm for our 30 minutes of outside snow play. And then just buy bigger sizes where you can because you do tend to spend a little bit more on warm winter waterproof insulated clothing. So you want to make sure that you're really getting their, your use out of them. So I like to buy a little bit bigger so they last for a couple seasons and also I like to try to buy neutral colors so that they can be used for future children regardless of the gender. If you guys are in need of other um, inspiration or recommendations for how to dress kids warm in the cold weather or how to dress them for going on outside adventures, I recommend um, two of my pages that I've found or the pages that I've found that I really liked um, for ideas around this are, these are on Instagram, uh, Haley Outside, H-A-I-L-E-Y outside and then so we went. They both have great recommendations on how to layer your kids, how to camp warm, how to hike warm, things along those lines uh, that I have found to be really useful. And those are both on Instagram. I'll li link them below um, so you guys can have those as a resource as well. One of the things that I love about Boise, like most people do, is the access to trails both in the foothills and then also our green belt, belt pathways and what's really nice in Boise is that the Parks and Rec Department does a great job of keeping up on the green belt pathway. You have access to miles and miles of pathway that you can go out hiking with your little ones whether on foot on the foothills trails or with a stroller or on foot on the green belt. And on those times when you can't get outside Boise has some great community options either for free or for really really affordable that you can do with the kids to get them inside. So two of the things that we've been loving doing, number one, at Fort Boise Community Center in Boise, they offer free gym play for um, preschool aged kids. So this is Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's a $1 drop-in fee. It starts at about 8.30 in the morning and goes for a couple of hours. And they have a huge gym that's open with uh, balls and cars to push around and slides and just a good inside warm area for your kids to play around and get to connect with other kiddos when they can't really go out on the playgrounds and play outside there. 
The second one that we've been enjoying is story time. So this happens at the public libraries and there's a number around town. So regardless of where you are, you probably have one nearby you. They offer um, both story time depending on the age of the children. So there's some that's more geared towards babies. There's some that's more for toddlers or older children. And then they also have things, uh, they have arts and crafts times. And then they have, uh, we've gone to, it's called music and movement. So um, it's more a song and dance that the kids get to do. So those are a couple of options of things that you can do inside when the weather does not permit you to be able to go outside. Well, as I'm editing this video, I realized I didn't do an outro. So here it is. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips of just things to do um, when the weather is less than ideal outside. There's still things that you can do. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and give a thumbs up if you want to see more content like this. We'll be showing things to do in Boise uh, and adventures throughout the state of Idaho. I'll go ahead and link everything that I've mentioned down below in the comments so you guys can check those things out on your own. Happy adventuring!